Are you guys ready to draw today? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to draw. Okay, awesome. Let's draw a bunny first. Bunny flying his kite. Okay, so what are the first steps in draw to drawing a bunny? What's the big shape that we should draw first? His body? And what shape should we use for his body? Okay, oval's good. We're gonna use an uh, oval for his body. All right, what's next? Head, okay. What shape should we use for the head? A circle, okay. A circle, that sounds good. Here's a circle. All right, what's the next shape we should draw for a bunny? Okay, and what kind of shape should we use for his arms? That's good. Okay, so we draw two rectangles. Okay, do, do bunnies have big legs or small legs? Yeah, he has big legs. Bunny has big legs. Yeah, what shape can we use there? Yes, that's a good one. So let's draw a big circle like this. Draw two circles. What shape should we use for the leg, the actual, um, the feet part? Yes, good job. So we draw two rectangles. Okay. Now what shape should we use for the ears? So we can use, we can actually use the ovals, two circle, two ovals. Okay, so for animals, what do we call this part for animals? Uh, and how do we draw the muzzle? Yep, you got it. Draw the, the muzzle, the circle. And what shape can we use for the nose? Yeah, that's a good one. And what kind of lines can we draw for the mouth? Yeah. We can draw a curved line. Okay, looking pretty good. How do we draw eyes? Oh. Two circles. And what's inside? Yeah, two dots. Oh, oh, the eyelids. You're saying like this? Okay. You can also add maybe two curved lines for the, the eyebrows. You want to add a kite? Maybe you can be flying a kite. Okay, how do we draw a kite? So, like a curved line. And then what about the top? What, what about the shape of the kite itself? Yes, good job. Two triangles. Well, circle and, and triangles like this. Yes, the ribbons. Okay. Let's put some lines in here. Okay. Are there any details you want to add to the bunny? Oh, fur. Okay. How do we draw fur? You remember? Yeah, zigzag lines. So we can add some zigzag lines here. Add them around his legs. And you could put circles inside of his ears to make it look more like ears. Oh yeah, how do you draw the hands? Yep. We have two circles. How's that look? Good. Okay. And we can erase the stuff in the middle that we don't need. Good job. So if we're gonna draw an older brother, is how do we draw an older brother bunny? Yes. 
Okay, so we'll draw an oval, maybe here. Okay, draw the neck. What shape do we use for the body? Yes, let's draw another oval. Okay, and then how do we draw the legs? Yeah, so the circle could be used for the big part of the bunnies. You see this circle right here? Yeah, so we're gonna use that for, for the part of the bunny's legs. And then for the feet, what shape could we use for the feet? That's right, a rectangle. Okay. We need some lines for the feet. Okay, how do we draw the ears? Yeah. Okay, so ovals and some curved lines inside of it. Yeah, okay. So you can be looking up at the height. Let's draw the muzzle. What shape do we use to draw the muzzle right here? Yeah, a circle. Okay, yeah, mouth can be a curved line. Yeah, like a black circle, like that. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's do two rectangles up. Okay. That's good. How do you draw the fingers? Do you remember how to draw fingers? So you can do some triangles or some curves. Curve circles. Okay. How's our bunny look? Let's add one more uh, circle in the body for the belly. Yeah. I think we should draw that one here too. Awesome job. We can finish this off by erasing some things in the middle. Oh, do bunnies have tails? I forgot the, about the tail. What shape should we draw for the tail? Yeah. Okay. Add a little tails to our bunnies. Okay, so we have two brother bunnies. Flying their kite. Good job. Wasn't that fun? And wasn't that simple and easy? All right, so if you liked that video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our videos. We make videos every single week. And we have a special step-by-step -step guide for you in the link below. So go ahead and click the link below and download it and we'll see you next time at Creativity School.